What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? It's your boy Bruce Tyrez. Back with another video. Um, I want to talk about today. I want to talk about um the state of gaming, uh, first person shooters, uh, mindset of gamers, um, people who's a diehard fan. Also, I want to talk about how developers making games so easy for people casuals, right? And it takes the fun factor away from a lot of things, right? So, again, example, um, and, and about the streamers. Uh, I think a lot of streamers, like car streamers or uh, streamers who played um, Battle Royales, right? I don't think they are typically that good in games. Like, that, they're not that great in, in first-person shooters, or they're not great in the BR. And what I mean by that is, for example, um, a lot there's, there's a lot of known pub stumpers that's in that streams or big YouTubers that are into pub stumping in COD, right? Um, Y'all ever notice when they stream, they never stream their lives at the end. <coughs> for example, right? When y'all see me stream, I'm, you see me finding a matchmaking, you see me press play, uh, press X to find a game, I might choose Hardpoint. I might choose um, Warzone, whatever. Uh, but I show all that. A lot of times when people in the menu, uh, big streamers, they don't show the, they don't show the, the, them pressing play or them trying to find a server. They don't do that. A lot of times they use VPNs and they find bot lobbies. So they'll be like, for example, in Brazil, these players in Brazil, they, not, they're simply not that good in COD, so the, the average KD in that lobby might be 0 0.69 or something like that. So those people use that VPN and they'll join that, that server and join that lobby and destroy. Like You can look at these streamers, you can look when they play against the enemies and what type of enemies they play against. And there'll be literally four right next to each other, or four right in front of him, and he destroy all four of them right in front of him. That doesn't make sense. They don't shoot back. They're not good enough to shoot back. They, don't, they, don't, they probably don't even know what they're doing in the game. But they, the streamers or content creators try to make it seem like they are great in the game. Like, cause, because the bots or the people in the lobby are so trash in the game, it makes it seem like they are a god tier. Until, until you see them play against other, stream, like other streamers or, other, or, or pro players or people who die hard or play the game every day and really skillful. They go from cod to cod and dominate or be great, be well above average. So if you look at um, a lot of people complain about SBMM, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't help the game. I remember we played Mind Over 2. If you... If you, I guess, uh, play in a good lobby and you get a lot of kills in that lobby, you can stay in that lobby and then, you know, play with the same people again. SBN, SBMM, you play in a lobby, you could destroy them people, and then they'll find you a whole new game, a whole new match, and it takes a long time to find another match because they, try to, they, don't, they don't want you to play the same people. That takes the fun out of the game because some games... Some lobbies you go in that that um that lobby and destroy people, and then some lobbies you could go in and get destroyed. It just depends how good that player is. But it was not easy to get in these lobbies and like dominate. And what I mean is, it was no SBMM, but you don't know who you're playing against. SBMM, you go every single player is top tier, COD pro. That's what, it, what a lot of people feel like, but um. You have ever noticed these content creators, they don't have that issue. They don't have that difficulty playing against other players. Me, personally, I don't care about SBMM uh, because I enjoy it. If I enjoy the game, I'm enjoy the game. Like, I'd, be I'd, be ten, I'd, be, I'd be killing a lot of people regardless what lobby. It don't matter. I'd be destroying in rank player. I'd be destroying in pubs. It don't matter to me because I, like, I like competition. I like playing uh, difficult. I don't like getting in the lobby and destroy everybody. It gets boring fast. I don't know. This is me. I'm competitive, right? Um, also, also, I I understand why people go and tend to to, to be around certain uh, streamers and stuff like that that go into a lot because they're entertaining when it comes to personality wise. But they they're not good at the game. They they literally they literally either hack 
or they actually use VPNs to make them seem good. And then it came out like a bunch of people done that, like a bunch of top streamers done that. But I mean, I feel like that's fake. Like, like I feel like it's fake. I remember I don't know the name. This is a top streamer, but his name was Xbox. Um, and it's a couple of people I got in the lobby with that sort of been like top tier pub stumpers. I got in the lobby. They was not dropping nukes. I got I got footage on my YouTube. They're not dropping nukes. They're not dropping all them kills like you see on their videos. Cause I'm in the lobby. I'm in there. I'm destroying them. I can, I can show you footage. I literally a live stream and he was in there. And you can see me say, Oh, he was in there. Yeah, you can see me say, Oh, that's the old boy. That's his that's his such and such. I forgot his name though. I got the footage. So if I don't want, want to see the footage, I can go back to my streams and get it and I can show y'all. Um it was on Vanguard, as a matter of fact. Um but uh I feel like developers making games so easy for casuals to hop in. And pick up a play. I don't like that because ain't no way a dude who been, who been the average player picked the controller up two days ago, never put a, never pick a controller up in their life, or never play card at all like that. Get in the lobby and actually keep up with me. I I never did understood that. And then I spawn like a card. I remember card. They always card always kind of had bad spawns in pubs, but it felt like I die. Like I remember, I played like a couple matches on uh, Battle Warfare Two. I die, took two steps, die from the same dude again. Took another two steps, die from a different person. Spawn up again, took another two steps and died. Like that, back to back to back, three times in a row. That I don't, I never happened to me in these like these past two, two or three cars it have been happening like that. But Black Ops Four and and above or uh, before was not like that. I never got I never got spawn trapped so much like that like three times in a row. <coughs> this is before I shot my gun. <clears throat> I took a total of six steps and died like three times. I it, it don't make sense. Um, I feel like um, a lot of games are stuck by and it's only limited when you have uh we don't have battle pass. So what I mean is, um. Call of Duty, they will come out with a weapon. This new, this new season, or this weapon they come out with is like destroying everybody in the lobby. So it kind of forces you to buy the weapon to to literally play the game because the game is unplayable for like at least two or three weeks because of that new weapon. Everybody get that new weapon for like two or three weeks. They get bored of it and they go try to go to another another weapon and or do another build. And then when another season come, they'll nerf that weapon it just released and then bring another weapon that's like God tier two. So I, I don't I don't like that. Like it's, it destroys the the fun factor in the game. It like they 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 put a broken gun in the game on purpose to get sales. I understand that. I understand you, you gotta get your numbers, your and make a lot of money from, you know, you make a lot of money from uh the casuals or whatever, I understand that. I understand that you need to make your money, but it's literally game breaking. It's not fun. It's literally not fun. It's not consistent. It's like kind of like pay to win. I gotta pay to destroy the lobby. I gotta pay to like like drop a nuke. It's like that, and I don't like that. Like it takes the fun out of, out of stuff. Like you're forced to get this weapon in order to play well. You got you're forced to play like forced to get this weapon in order to even like get even stay stay even. I don't have a bad KD. Uh, I think like nowadays shooters is battle battle pass bound. You can't do certain things without the battle pass. Sometimes you can't play a whole section of a game without the battle pass. Which is stupid. Like I don't, I don't get that. Um. Um. Also, um. I think what what first person shooters kind of shifted, and everybody not getting the same experience because on console, everybody had the same experience. <laughs> excuse me. Um. When it was on uh, console, everybody had the same experience. Sixty frames, whatever. Um. Now when you have Xbox and PS4 or Xbox or PlayStation and PC, you can't now. Well, the new systems, the PS5 and the Xbox, you can do 120 hertz, but that's still, that's still like yeah, okay. That's a lot of people still not doing 120 hertz. A lot of people still on 1080p, 60 frames. That's like the average now. 
And um, it's a lot of these games are broken. It, they don't come full package. Like um, a lot of games are buggy. Like a lot of cards, a lot of stripper shooters come out broken. It's not com fully completed. I don't, I don't understand why. And then they'll take something that's already built for the game, and then add it, add it to a season. Like uh, it is like this is supposed to be in the game. If you look at Destiny Two, the last DLC, it's supposed to be on the the Witch Queen. The uh, the last DLC was supposed to be for the Witch Queen. They literally have a armor, the armor that was in the Witch Queen. I think it was either Warlock or it was a Titan armor. It literally has the green, um, you know, the green little, the green, uh, I forgot what they call it, but it's, it's the green special where you could turn into a whip or a grenade launcher or whatever. The, 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 the green phase stuff. It's literally armor with that. And then it's going to come out, it's going to be for, like, it's going to be like the new move sets for Witch Queen. No, they didn't do that. It took it and made it to a separate thing. But it's clearly in the Witch Queen, the, the body armor, the armor that they get. It literally got the symbol, same symbol, and it's literally green. Uh, green. You could get it in the last DLC before that. Now, <clears throat> um, I feel like we letting developers release games too early because we thirst for it. We don't let these games sit and marinate and get fully prepared or fully like, you know, fully like develop. We rush. Everybody on a fast, like fast, fast piece. We gotta get this game come out. Or we got we announced Spider Man to January first. We needed March second. Like y'all don't give games time to breathe. It's like it's a rush, the rush, the rush to get the game out, and then cry about it when um when the game is broken. Like you don't give developers time to develop because it's a high demand. Now, um, that's not me saying I don't enjoy. It. Cod and anything like that because I like the concept of Cod. I like the concept of Halo. I like the concept of Gears. But I feel like games today is coming out half and not full. It's not a lot of thought coming to it. Like Gears 4 and Gears 5, it's the same game. It might add it a little new weapons. It might add a. It's nothing like different. Like you tell me, game, uh, if you're good at Gears 4, you're good at Gears 5. Like it's literally the same game. And I didn't like that. I feel like people, like, it's pressure to release games so fast that they just do half of the work. Um, in this recent case of games going to PC, it don't work well. I don't know. Like, I don't understand how, how developers develop a game and they use PCs to develop a game, but it don't run well on PC. I don't, I don't get that. Like, it runs better on console, but you, you develop a game on PC and you release it on consoles and the PC, and the PC version is bad. And some people spent a lot of money. Some people spent a lot of money for their PC to run well, and it don't run good. Not because of the PC specs, it's because how they develop. It's running better on consoles, but not on PC. I never understood that. Um. Uh. Another thing is like, <clears throat> I play COD. Uh, let me get that one. I play Vanguard. Call of Duty Vanguard on PS Five. Uh, 4K60, right? Uh, I'm I'm, I'm a, I was a master on Vanguard on PS5. Now, I, I brought a PC. They gave me a PC to get um to play Vanguard on, and I get like right now I'm getting like 240 hertz. I got a um a G7 Odyssey, 24 or 27 inch 1440p. 240 hertz monitor. Um, I got it so I could get, obviously get a lot of hertz, and it's obviously it's way smoother. Um, so I played a PS5 Vanguard uh, and rank play. I was on Masters. Uh, this, I got I played Van, I bought Vanguard on PC. Got Masters too on PC. Um, and me trying to get from PC and play Call of Duty on on uh, PS5. It's like light and day, because you know even though I could do 120 hertz, um, on PS5, it still don't look the same as I do 140 hertz or even 120 hertz on PC. It's like just different. It might say 120 hertz on PS5, but it, it's you can tell a big difference from both of them. Um, Halo. Let me get something about Halo. 
I don't think Halo gunfights and the way Halo plays is bad. I think people don't like Halo because the cosmetics. Like it, it if they had if Halo had cosmetics like um cosmetics like COD, uh skins or camos like COD, it would be it would be as much complaints. And I feel like Halo takes forever. I feel like Halo takes forever, ever to level up the battle pass. It takes a long time. And I think that I think the reason why they do that, to me personally, is to prolong to prolong and have people play longer to get in the higher rank to get certain pieces and stuff but the gear is not good it don't look good um i feel like um the difference between halo back then and halo today it's like it's feel like it's like it's night and day i think halo i think people don't like Halo because it's, it's a slower piece game um, everybody want the games to be super fast. Everybody like everybody like Apex Legends. Everybody like if you notice when you played um for, uh, Fortnite. Fortnite was a slow paced uh third person shooter at first. Now it's very quick. That's why they added auto uh auto run automatic run. They added sliding. The jumping mechanic is faster because they because they see that more people enjoying fast paced gameplay. Um. I mean, again, they, they cater to the casuals, but a lot of people not playing Gears and Halo anymore because it, it's, I think they, they left the origin of those games by trying to be other games. Halo, well, once Halo went, like Halo 5 and Halo 4, once they try to go through that COD route, that's what made Halo fall. Halo 3, Halo 2 was very, very, very different. Those are very different games from the games that came out today. There's very slow pace, but the weapons was good. You never played a game like Halo. I could play, I could play Halo, the new Halos, they, they remind me of COD. Like the movement, sliding, it just, it just reminded me of COD too much. I think everybody's trying to be a COD killer. You don't have to be a COD killer. You could kill arena shooters. You got arena shooters. You got uh, battle royales. You have um, arcade shooters. There's different genres. I don't understand why people take uh, a, a they'll take arena shooters and try to make it to a arena shooter. I mean, arena shooters to uh, arcade shooter they're trying to make it together like it's two different genres two separate games and i feel like everybody just will be like cod like can't be like cod. A, a, a halo player could play any first person shooter and dominate because the aiming mechanics is very different so example uh on halo uh, uh on, on other shooting games your right analog your aiming analog is used more than your um your left analog to move on halo you use uh, use your left analog as just as much as your right analog because your left analog you can move it to your shots. If you ever look at the you ever look at pro players when they do the sniper, they they take the sniper and actually move sideways. They don't take their right analog and try to follow the person. They they move left into the person. Um, you can look at formal. You can look at um, trippy. You can look at um. Different players like that, they use left analog to get their shots. Renegade and stuff like that, you, they use the left analog to get the shots. Um, gears. Gears, I think what happened to Gears is they took a lot of gore and a lot of explosive out the game. So remember like Gears 3, 2, uh, 1, when you shot somebody with a Nasher, the body parts just like blew up and the blood on your screen. You might get that a little bit in news cards, but it's look more cartoonish. Look more cartoonish. It didn't look like it, it don't it didn't look like uh it's like a Fortnite version of Fortnite version of Gears. You know what I'm saying? Gears was like I'm gonna give you an example. Gears was like Wolfenstein. Like Wolfenstein is with the blood and stuff like that. Uh dismemberment and I, like games like you play a Gears game. You get an adrenaline rush. Like I never play with. I don't play with vibration. When you shot a Nasher, a Nasher at somebody, the shotgun at somebody, 
and it one shot wouldn't kill him and they explode even without vibration it felt like a, a great shot it felt good it felt like it felt great shooting somebody we had a lancer when you look at the lancer um I feel like the the new the new gears the you doing more robots than humans like robots against humans I'm talking about like on multiplayer. Um, when you look at the chainsaw on gears four and five compared to gears two and three, like when, when you when you chainsaw somebody, that blood is getting on the chainsaw, it's skeeting to the ground, it's sh shooting all uh, shoot the the blood shooting your face, the blood you can see the body peeling in half while you cutting it. It just felt like it was more mechanical. It was more fun. Uh, just go, just go look at, just go look at uh, two thousand eight. I think it was two thousand eight. Uh, e three or two thousand six. E three. Whatever, they, uh, whatever they time they announce it or they show that E three, you could see how the crowd was lit up when they seen that. They, like, I never saw a game like that. You would, I never saw a game like Gears. You never saw a game like Gears with the covering system and getting shot and and, and blowing up pieces like that. And Halo, you never seen a, a game where you could jump like that. You found ledges. You could shoot the B aura, the needler, the uh, plasma sword. You know, uh, the energy sword, the plasma gun, the uh, sniper, the carbine. You didn't see those weapons like that. And a lot of games try to emulate that. So if you look at, if you look at example, go look at a game that's when it comes to like weapons, like special weapons. You got uh, Resistance Three, Resistance Two. This is for the man where they has there was like insomniac was just specialized in weapons. Imagine, imagine, uh, imagine Bungie and Insomniac Games created a game together. Imagine. Because both of them are very similar when it came to creating certain weapons. You ain't never seen a weapon like uh what Bungie did with Halo. You never seen that before. You might some people might see um the old dooms with the shotgun, the old games like uh Unreal Unreal Tournament, uh stuff like that. But the level of detail of those weapons, like how gear I mean, even even gears, how gears had a uh, you can shoot a uh was it was a uh digger where they shoot the, the thing under the ground, excuse me, and come out the ground and blow up. Um it's it's like the games back then was the ideas was never seen before. And I feel like everybody trying to be like everybody, just like just like rappers. They have the same rap, the same tone, the same the same uh, mannerisms, the same rap flow. I feel like everybody trying to be the same. They don't have an originality. I feel like I feel like games back then, every game, every shooter was different. You couldn't name a shooter that was very similar to each other. Metal Honor was different from COD. COD was different from Brothers in Arms. Uh. Uh, Halo was different from COD. Uh, Killzone, Killzone uh, two, and three was very different from uh, Halo. Had their own weapons, lasers. They had so many like uh, Killzone two. I think I looked this up. I was number I was number one in the world online in Killzone two. That was two thousand, I believe, two thousand ten. Two thousand ten. I I could I could go back to my um. Uh, you know, by uh, Fastball2604 profile, and I can show you I was number one at the trophy and everything, too. Uh, number one on multiplayer, by the way. Uh, but, um, but yeah, like, like every shooter had different, different mechanics. You can look at Halo, Gears, um, uh, Siphon Filter, you had, uh, Perfect Dark, you had Resistance, you had Ratchet and Clank, you had um, a Soul Calm. Uh, you had different different games, right? And it was so much better back then because every game was different. Every game is the same right now. Even it's how it's how I know it's the same. Cause remember, if you look at Halo back then, Halo had a recon bumper jumper was very different. Now Halo got the same mechanics as Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty. They use left bump of the aim, right bump of the shoot, uh, square to reload, uh, X to reload, Y is to switch weapons, B and melee, X to uh, and A to jump. That's the same thing COD do. It's the same thing, same button scheme. Every shooting game now had the same button scheme as COD, and that's what problem with everybody. That's the problem with everybody. Like back then, most people played on bumper jumper or or uh, recon. Now. 
everybody plays same con like that's why I say you could play if you know how to play Halo, you know how to play every every game, every single shooter, because every single shooter had the same button scheme as COD. Every single one. That's why anybody could anybody who played shooters before could uh, could play COD. COD COD, you could pick up COD controller and be good at COD today. So many uh so many stuff for COD that you could just do. Like you could pick up you got, at one point in time, you could die and your kill streaks don't reset. It's key adding on. You could get a kill streak. That's how easy stuff was. But um, my problem, again, my problem with content creators, a lot of them is not good at the game. A lot of them, a lot of them just hack or use VPNs and try to make it seem like they're good. But when they play real competition, and you could tell too, if you go look at the um, the COD events when they, uh, the new COD come out and they send these content creators. They don't. They be looking garbage. They be looking garbage. That's why you seen a lot of people who like, like top Warzone players. They went to the Warzone land and looked like they was trash because they were people with just VPNs and and they hack. If you think I'm lying, just go look at just look at, just go look at all the games. And every time you see, every time you see pro players at these COD events, they always dominate. You know why? Because they're not hacking. They play the game. They grind the game. Ten to twelve hours. They playing just as long as these what Warzone content creators. Just as long, but they know they're not gonna cheat. Now they they also know they also know when they go to that event. A lot of them don't look the same. A lot of them content creators don't look the same. They don't slide the same. They don't run the same. They don't be at that. Uh, they don't be such as uh, aware of the surroundings because because they they, they play this game and they hack. They don't be too good. I'm telling you, they don't be too good. Just just go. It's take a look at the content creator. Look how they play. They always know where the person at. They always know where to go at. When you play against pros, uh, people who really grind the game. Like if you look at, uh, I remember a Vanguard. Asim went to the land. Asim was tan. Everybody up. It's not because and Asap don't didn't even know the game. He, like he played he played COD Vanguard, just just like when everybody else played. But he's he know how to play COD so good. He know the mechanics of COD. He know how to pick up and and go because he's a diehard COD fan, COD fan, and he's a pro. He know the ins and outs of COD. A lot of these content creators get in land, go, go land to, to I guess even land tournament. Or even get invited to COD events and don't look the same. And it's not it's not because of nerves. I mean, you could be nervous, but if I'm if I'm go if I'm going to an event and I'm gonna show my skills off. I don't care. I'm not care. I, I, I'm gonna have fun, but me having fun is showing my skills off. A lot of these dudes, a lot of the content creators, they're not good. They're very entertaining. They're great personalities, but they don't know how to they don't know how to really play the game or you know how to master the game. I literally mastered three games at one time. I mastered Halo, Gears, and COD at the same time. I got a mastery in COD. I had a um a mas was a mastery in uh Halo 5 at the time. And Gears, um uh, when Gears was out, uh I had a a mastery. Now I have all proof on stream. I was literally I was literally top ranks. A high, one of the highest ranks or the highest ranks on these games because again I learned for like example when people see me play uh competitive right or rank play when I throw my nades I learn how to throw nades and perfect my nades and and use my nades to figure out where somebody at from Halo. I learned my nade my uh Halo throws my nade throws from Halo because Halo you need nades to either throw to weaken a person or throw to to go inside a point, or throw to to break a hill, or throw to see if a person around that corner. I learned that literally from Halo and took it to COD. And I got better at COD because I know how to throw my knees and stuns. Yeah, and I, and I play with when I play with people who into competitive. I would say you try to break a hill, throw your knee stuns, or somebody try to challenge you, throw your knee or stun at the right time to weaken or to uh, get an easy kill. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people just go run in that room. A lot of people just run around the corner, while, and dudes camping in the corner, not moving. And it's all you got to do is throw your knee to stun to know where he at, and you could also weaken him. So when I play, when I play first person shooters, I know what to do. Like when I tell people, when you play Kai, you won't be good at uh, pub stepping. You don't even need UAVs. You don't need. Um, you don't need. Uh, those um, kill streaks that show where everybody at on the map. 
on your, on your radar. You don't need that. When you play COD or any shooter, you stay on the outside. You know why? Because everybody spawns on the outside and they're trying to go into the middle. Don't go into the middle because all the middle is the chaos. When you play COD or any, any first person shooter, stay on the outside of the map. And when I mean outside of the map, still the, like, I'm not saying be on like, the edge of the map. Being on the side where people spawn out at. So let's say, let's say in the middle of the map, in the spawn, the the hill, the hills in the middle of the map. Do not go in the middle of the map to, I guess, get kills and all that. What you want to do is you go on the outskirts. You won't be around. You won't catch people spawning. Cause if you, like example, if I'm spawning in front of the hill, I kill somebody by running around and kill somebody in the back. Now they go spawn where I came from. So. Like any any shooter, every shooter does that. Any shooter, if you kill somebody out, they spawn. They go they go they go spawn to the other side, or they spawn. And COD, in order to be a good pump st pump stomper, don't go in the middle. You go in the middle if 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 there's like a, a upstairs downstairs. You go in the middle. Stay on the outside, and then you're outside. You kill people inside in the middle, or you kill people on the outside. Like you play we play hard point. A lot of people run to the objective. They can't camp. And you pick people off by killing them either from the outside looking into the, the objective or outside in the spawns. It's very easy. Like it's the concept of first-person shooters is very, very easy. And, and when you aim, you don't look at the ground. You, you see people run, look at the ground, and then we see an enemy to try to raise their gun up and try to shoot them. If you keep your gun level, if you if you keep your uh, your, your gun uh, height, your head head height, and you look. And you see that person running, you can either pick, you can either turn and shoot that person. You look down, run up the stairs, you look it down, trying to uh you go down the stairs, you look down at the floor, and then you see the enemy, you try to reach the gun up, it's too much time to take too much time it takes to lift the gun up and try to kill somebody. If you keep it level, it's easy to turn and kill somebody. So it, like the concept of first person shooter is easy. Just like just like a lot of people will tell you, like if if you're good at fighters, like certain kind of fighters, right? All, a lot of fighting games are super similar. High kick, low kick, high punch, low punch. You might have alt, uh, meter burn, whatever you call it. If you if you are, if you know the concept of fighting games, it it shouldn't take you that long to learn concept of other fighting games. I'm not saying all fighting games are the same because it's not, but I'm saying it's like the concept. Because Halo and Gears, I mean, Halo and and um, COD are two different first person shooters. Apex Legend is a different uh, first person shooter than. Halo, COD, you know what I'm saying? So, as long as you get the concept, you know, the concept of a first person shooter, or a concept of basketball, a concept of Madden, a concept of any any genre game, sports, you could, once you learn the basics, and then you learn, like, the spawns, you learn the mechanics, then you can also implement certain games. Like, okay, I played tw uh, 12 to 14 hours, I know where all the... The key spots to go to. I know where all the high spots. I know where all the spots uh, that I need to get to in order to win this game. And that's how you could become a better gamer. I people don't understand that. But anyway, um, yeah, I feel like everybody. The game is too easy for everybody. Content creators faking the funk. They're not good because when they pay, when they come, when I come in the lobby, they, they don't do. They don't do good. I, I, I can show you footage. I guarantee that they don't do good. Everybody want to like like everybody want to be pretending to be good. They're not good. Trust me. And if 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 y'all if y'all want to take our bullshit, when I ever get, I could I go I said I could go to um I could go to my uh YouTube my my Twitch whatever I could get videos of me playing these same dudes y'all see, destroy them. It's, it's all fake, man. It's all fake. It's for, it's, it's for entertainment entertainment purposes, but it's truly not. They're not what they city is. They ain't grinding because when they every time they get into a lobby with a pro player, they get destroyed. I'm talking about bad. A pro player and a a, a content creator who claim to be good, two different two different people, two different ball games. Trust me, I know. Trust me. What's your boy versus Ty Reds? Um, yeah, I was getting my point of view. I'm tired of seeing people get easy easy stuff. You ever even grind a game? Um. Uh, I just, just feel like developers doing it to appease the casuals. I mean, get your money, but you also got a fan base. You got, you got like people who's die hard fan base who talk good about your games. Y'all ain't worried about them. You really don't care about them. But anyway, 
Uh, yeah, but that's your boy versus Tyree. Like, comment, subscribe. They got some good news coming soon. I'm gonna let you know on the stream. Um, yeah, peace out.